Hello traders, welcome to the Elliott Wave Street weekly update. I'm Juan Maldonado and today we're going to check the Euro, the Dollar Gen and the S&P. Here we have the Euro which has been setting off for last week and this week as well. And we are looking for the completion of this leg down that we we are calling it a wave a four and the main plan is moving back to the 112.75 as you can see here we have a volume profile tool that help us to find the value valuation of the market we can either use the volume profile tool or also a rectangle where we can find the 50% area, roughly. The, one of the, of the problems when you are trading, the, trading Forex is that this market is an OTC market, so we don't have access to volume. But the volume profile tries to estimate the volume of the market with price action. When you have more price in terms of time, uh, the volume is bigger. So that's how the volume profile works. In this particular case, we can tell that this area was expensive and this area is cheap. Our plan as traders is buying cheap, selling expensive. So we are in the buying area. This was a trade that we were following on the membership at this rejection the next trade that we are looking is after the test. Let's go to the hourly chart to explain better what the test is and how you can trade uh, with, um, with an uh, objective uh, way of, of uh, understanding the wave count and understanding the wave structure. When, when the trader is applying the early wave theory, most of the times I can tell that 99% of the times and it's extremely frustrated and thinking that the alien way theory is not going to work for him that the alien way theory is a scam right that the alien wave theory is too subjective but of course i completely understand that that um point of view on the majority of participants that try to understand the alien way theory because imagine if someone tells that after you find a five wave sequence, you can fill up the retrace levels with Fibonacci levels, you can add all the Fibonacci levels, and that at one of those levels, the price can bounce or the price can continue lower. So, of course, you start losing a lot of money trying to buy at one of those Fibonacci levels. That's crazy. It doesn't have any sense. So when the trader starts trading in, in from that uh, strategy, imagine if I fill my chart with lines here. I'm just creating random lines here. And do you think that the market maker, that the big guy, is looking uh, to is looking for the 618% Fibonacci level to buy? Of course not. So what actually matters is the supply and demand and the orders that we are seeing during the process. That's that's what really matters, not what the Fibonacci level is at, you know, because of course the beginner will end extremely frustrated if he sees a five wave sequence, like in this case, and the price drops back below the previous low, and that trader starts buying on every Fibonacci level because he's a hammer candle or because he's a bullish engulfing candle showing up on any of those levels, he's going to lose, lose a lot of money or a bigger trade if he leaves the protective stop loss here. And that's completely insane. Now, let's add the Fibonacci levels so you can see what I'm meaning. Um, those are random lines, are same as the random lines. You know, it's crazy. The yellow wave theory um, is applying those 
um, a Fibonacci numbers to get an idea where the second wave can finish. But in my experience, that thing is absolutely crazy. It's going to waste a lot of your energy. It's going to make you trigger extremely bad trades. And it's a huge issue, you know. So let me now show you the solution because that's the problem, you know, and I have to I have to tell you a solution for this huge problem with Fibonacci levels. So what if instead, let's remove my magic random lines on the Fibonacci levels. And what if I tell you that there is an extremely simple way of finding the end of the second wave? So when you have in front of you a three wave sequence, ABC, can, can be at this retrace, can be bigger, can be even bigger. You are seeing the three wave sequence. So when you have the three wave sequence in front of you, no matter the retrace that the second wave is reaching, that's absolutely random. There are corrective waves. Um, there, there are corrective waves that are deep. Um, there are corrective waves that are shallow. There are corrective waves of all the shapes and sizes and everything. So, so when you have the three wave sequence in front of you, just draw a line below the first pivot. And when the price returns, you buy it. So if it shows up there, you're going to buy there. If it's, if it's going to reject here, you're going to buy here. If it's going to reject here, you're going to buy here after the three wave sequence. That's the way to validate the, the corrective wave. And that solves a lot of issues because you are not wasting your time finding Fibonacci levels or that type of thing that is absolutely random. Now, what if the price, instead of building a three-wave sequence, what if the price sell-offs, let's say, with big red candles? In that case, you are not going to buy it. In that case, you can see that the big guy is not providing liquidity on on the on the beat side of the of the of the process so of course the price is going to drop strongly and is going to um is going to to continue lower and is going to grab um uh, the the liquidity below the low right so of course the um, the price this is not this is not a good idea when you have aggressive candles when you have big candles moving down you need to wait and you need to look for the three wave sequence and that's it it's extremely simple let me show you an example for example this three wave sequence you you can clearly see the three wave sequence right of course with experience you're going to start picking your favorites that one is good so where is the sell trade here, when the price moves above and rejects. Look at this one. This one is interesting. Big A, tiny tiny C. Where are the sell trades? Here, right? This is a sell trade and this is a sell trade. So you can see that there are different shapes, right? There are different shapes. Look at this one here. A, B, C. And the rejection is here when the price returns. So, of course, you can start picking your favorites with experience. This one is a, a, a crystal clear example. This is a great example because it's absolutely clear the three wave sequence. There are others like this one, or look at this one A, B, C, sell trade at the rejection. When the price returns and not using Fibonacci levels, because that's crazy. How in this world I'm going to find out if the B wave is going to retrace 38% or 50 or 
88.6% Fibonacci ratios. There is no way. But if I have in front of my eyes the three wave sequence, I can trigger the trade. You see the difference? So this type of exercises plus others with price action is something that we perform daily on the Elliott Wave Street membership. If you want to master this technique, you need to join us. So that's a way of trading objectively the wave count. Now let's plan the trade that is coming up. So we're finding the end of the first wave. We don't know if that's it or if it's going to move a little bit higher. We don't care because once we have the discount as an A, B, C, guess what? We're going to buy it at the rejection. That's it. And this technique can be applied on any time frame. Something that I ask my clients to perform and to study to study this technique is to is to um, practice on different time frames is to is to practice on different instruments if you like to trade the stocks go ahead if you like to trade bitcoin or the oil or whatever practice on your favorite instrument check previous trades practice on the life market, practice, 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 and you are going to start seeing them and you are going to start picking your favorite zigzags. All right, so that's the plan on the euro. Let's have a look at the dollar gen. It's, it's one that I have been following this week and I believe we are getting closer to the, um, to the setup. So I'm, I'm bearish. My, my plan is, is being bearish on, on the dollar gen. We got a beautiful leg down. We got a leg up. We, we got a leg down and we are looking now for another leg up. Hopefully it doesn't sell off before hitting the high. And what, what is the name of this pattern? What is the name of this pattern of this ABC? Notice that in this case, the B wave is under the start of A. Well, the name of this pattern, if you said irregular flat, you are right. The irregular flat in the Elliott wave theory allow us to have the B wave under A. The next step in the process, similar to the zigzag, is having the price moving above A to sell it. So when I say hopefully we get here, sometimes the price fails to reach the high and drops before. And in those cases, I prefer to miss the, the trade because I'm looking for the fresh high in order to sell it. So I trade my plan. Let's have a look at another one. Let's have a look at the S&P. Uh, the S&P has been moving up. And if I tell you that here on Elliott Wafer Street, we were able to buy here, you will say, no way, no way, right? You're, you're, you are, you are, of course, you're showing an example that already happened. It's easy, right? But let me show you. Let me show you and let's plan also together the next trade. I believe that is important to, I believe that is extremely important to, to learn on the live markets. You know, I think that those examples on the live markets on how to apply the the theory and how to how to understand the markets um, with the live market examples are extremely important and accelerates the process of the trader. All right. So look, uh, we, we post a daily reports. We post a daily videos for our clients in the website. And this is a report from last Friday, August the 25th. Um, this is for the S&P. Uh, let's have a look here at the four hour chart. As you can see, uh, this was the wave count and this was the plan. So of course, if you join us, you're going to, you, you can watch previous videos as well. In the membership, you will get access to a fantastic educational library. And also you have access to all the previous reports. Um, so, so the plan last Friday traders was having the B wave, the completion of the B wave and the price moving under the A. And once the price returns, 
we were ready to buy at the rejection. That was the plan that we described and we explained on, on last Friday video. Now, what if the price, instead of building the setup, what if the price started to sell off strongly? Question, do you think that in this case, we will buy it? No, right? And we are not talking about Fibonacci levels. We are talking about supply and demand. If you want to become an expert on supply and demand with price action and Elliott Wave, you, you, you are going to become a master in the membership. So that, that's the plan. You see how simple it is? Well, it's simple. Validating the end of the second wave. We are not guessing. We are seeing. Our job as analysts, our job as traders, is not guessing the future. Is not forecasting the future. So far, I don't know anyone in this world that can travel on time. Time traveling. Right? That's impossible. So how in this world I'm going to know the future of the market? When I'm, when I'm starting to imagine what is next, I'm gambling. When I wait to see the, the signal and the validation of supply and demand, I'm trading the present, not imagining the future. And that's absolutely different, traders. M the majority of traders are looking for techniques to forecast the markets, to forecast the future, to time travel. And guess what? That's not possible. So, of course, they are going to lose their money. And that's a huge difference, you know. It's hard for the beginner to understand that concept. So, so in this case, um, we were looking last Friday for this trade, ABC, right? ABC. The price moving, look, we were here, right? We were looking for the B wave, okay? The B wave was with a lot of volatility, whatever. It's a fact that the price moves under A with this red candle here, right? That's a fact. It's a fact that after moving below, moves above again. That's a fact. That's a, a, a reality of the market. Of course, that every trade comes with a risk that we can leave a 1% risk of for that trade if you are consistent with risking no more than one percent you will need 100 consecutive trades negative to lose your account but of course the trader likes to risk 10 percent 20 percent of that trade because he wants to become a millionaire he wants to duplicate the account and of course that's a mistake but anyway that's another story so going back here to the setup that's the entry point, right? So if we say that it's possible to capture this leg, yes, with a 1% risk, that's it. And then you can manage your trade. You can say, okay, the one-to-one -one risk reward ratio, I'm going to take out half of my trade. I'm going to start closing half of the trade when it reaches a one-to-one, -one, whatever, right? Of course, that's up to you. But coming back to the entry point, that's the setup. And we are not using Fibonacci levels. We don't even care the Fibonacci level. Let's add the Fibonacci level. Let's make the exercise. You know, I have been in webinars where experts on Fibonacci, they say, oh, it's so fantastic. Look how great the Fibonacci levels worked. The price came down to the 78.6%, almost the 88.6%. Wow, that's fantastic. Come on. Imagine the price when it was moving like that and hits the 61.8% and rejects a little, whatever, I'm buying there, that's absolutely crazy. This doesn't have any sense. But when you add supply and demand and you delete those Fibonacci levels, that is completely crazy. Filling your chart with lines that don't make any sense. And you start trading with supply and demand and understanding the concept of the accumulation process. That's where, where things start changing. You know, sometimes my clients say, my, my clients are, are, are saying that this is like a detox program, you know, the Elliott Wave Street membership, because it helps 
to kill those bad habits. You know, the retail world is full of things that don't work. It's full of things that want the, the trader to buy at the highs, to sell at the lows, to trade in the opposite way. You know? So, of course, that comes with a lot of issues. All right, so traders, the next trade. The next trade on the S&P right now is expensive, so we need to have a discount. Imagine having an ABC here retesting this area and rejecting what's the next trade will be a buy trade of course when we have discounts that's our plan from now on buying all the discounts all the good discounts all the good shapes all the good constructions of the cause for continuations all right traders so we have a lot less to talk about on Elliott Wave Street. So if you want to join the group here under the membership tab, we have a special. Um, you can uh, have a $19 trial for the Forex, the stocks or the full access membership. You will get immediate access to the education library, to the live market analysis, to the charts, to everything we have inside the Elliott Wave Street. So sign up now, you will get immediate access uh, to, your, uh, to your members area and you will have a lot of value inside the membership. So if you want to learn the Elliott Theory, if you want to learn how to find the end of the waves with price action, with institutional cycles, with uh, supply on demand, sign up. All right, traders, please have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.